Hello students, welcome back to MV Math channel and this is Prakash and today in this video we are going to discuss about some important questions in the first chapter and these chapters are very much important those you are expecting to get a pass mark in the board exam so let's get into the question and here we have a first question given that HCF of 306, 657 is equal to 9. Other HCF of 2 number is given and we have to calculate the LCM of these two numbers. Here there are two methods. One method is using formula we can calculate and another method is using prime factorization method also directly we can find the LCM of this number. Since HCF is given so we must apply the relationship between HCF and LCF formula only. So let us take the formula. We know formula LCM of A comma B. A comma B are the two numbers into HCF of A comma B is equal to A into B. So this is the formula for relationship between LCM and HCF. So let's apply the given data here and let's find out the LCM. So LCM we need to find out. So let it be LCM of A comma B into HCF of A comma B is given here 9. So A into B in the sense the given two numbers 306 into 657. So we need only LCM. So let us take this multiplication 9 RHSI side it becomes division. So LCM of A comma B is equal to 306 into 657 divided by 9. Let's cancel this in the ninth table. So 9 ones are 9, 9 threes are 27, 3 reminder and uh, 9 fours are 36. So remaining we have there 34 into 657. So let's multiply this 657 into 34. If you multiply So you will get double two double three eight. So LCM of A comma B is double two double three eight. Hence the answer. So this is a important question, and let's go to the another important questions. Means this chapter is divided into two halves. The first half you will get a one question. Second half you will get another question. So in the first half this is one model. Another model. Let's see now. So here we have the second important questions in the first half. So let's get into the question. If the HCF of 408 and 1032 is expressible in the form of 1032 into M minus 408 into 5, then find the value of M. So this is the second most important questions in the first half. So let's take. Here the HCF of these two numbers they are given in one format. So this format they have given and let us find out our HCF using prime factorization method for these two numbers. So let's take now 408 and find out the prime factors. So let's divide in the second table. First means say 2 is the first smallest prime number. So let's start with that only. So 2 2 is a 4 and here we have. 2 5 is the 251 time. Next we can go with the next prime number 3. And next prime number directly 17th table. And let's find out the factors of 1032. You must be very clear with the tables. Then only you can do this prime factorization method. And let's take now second table. Now let's go with the third table. 3, 4 is a 12 and 3, 3 is a 9. So next 43 is the prime number. So directly we have to take in the 43 only. 43 ones are 43 since it is a prime number. Now let's write the factors of 408. 408 factors we have here 2 power 3 into 3 power 1 into 17 power 1. And factors of 1032 we have there. 2 power 
three into three into forty three power one into one, and here also we can take one power one. So in this, you have to see when you are finding the HCF, you have to see the least powers. When you take a number two, you have your least power is three only. Because here both the place we have here two power three, two power three, so that you can take one two power three into here also three power one. So in three, the least power is three power one. And seventeen we have here. Here we don't have a seventeen, so we cannot take. And one we can take. And here forty three we have there. There is no common factor at forty three, so we cannot take that. So this is sorry, one power one. Now let's multiply. Two power three value eight into three into one. If you multiply, you will get twenty four. So HCF of four hundred and eight comma thousand thirty two. So we got the HCF twenty four. So let's write here HCF is equal to twenty four. So we found by prime factorization method the HCF of these two numbers, but they are Already given in some format. So let us take their format. Whatever given in the question, they have given one thousand thirty-two into y minus four hundred and eight into five. It is the given data, and we found our HCF that we can take as equal to. So our HCF we have here twenty-four. Now in this, we have to find out the value of y. To find value of m, the other things all we can shift opposite. So here, thousand thirty-two yeah minus. Let's multiply this. Five eight zero forty five four zero twenty equal to twenty-four. When you take negative number opposite, it becomes positive number. So twenty-four plus twenty forty. And if you add, you will get. Two thousand sixty four. So yum. If you want multiplication, thousand thirty two. When you take opposite, it becomes division. So two thousand sixty four by thousand thirty two. If you cancel, it is two times. So therefore, the value of yum is equal to two. Hope that you understand. Uh, doubt in China, please comment section. La comment panenga. And in the random model, la maximum and or question ke ke dekhe chances nele erikhe. So in the next video, we will discuss in the second half the most important questions. That is irrational theorems. I am going to talk about the two models. That is the two models. We will next video upload the next video. So our channel is very clear. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel so that we upload the videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.